Good morning and welcome to Miss Brody. And today we will be customizing my baby's first Christmas photo small Christmas stocking. So let's take a look at the stocking. We see the front is customizable, but you can customize the text, Taylor's first Christmas, as well as the photo. The back is gray. And this is what the front looks like, the front hanging and the back hanging. So in order to customize, you want to click personalize this template. And you just simply change the name. I type Michael's first Christmas. And for images, you click change. And um, this what it will show if you, um, you know, if it's your first time. So you can upload images. You can drag and drop or upload images from your computer or your phone. Okay, now we see that we had to make some adjustments to the photo so it can show up on the stocking. So we click to customize further. And now we're in the design window where we can see the menu, edit, collaborate, settings, help. All savings, all challenge, all changes saved. Um, of course, you would have to be signed in, but I'm not signed in because I'm trying to show you from a customer's perspective. Share where you can share this with other people. Invite friends. You can invite other people to help collaborate and create the design. Done this when you're done. On the left hand side is text elements. Text. Add text, elements, icons, background, my files, where you upload images and sign in to upload from your phone. Product, it tells you about the product. Layers, these are the layers, the name, the image, the background. And you have the back. The designer, it um, tells about myself and help area. And this is more, um, this is for the text. You can edit text, font, the color of the font, size, justification, scale, that's to decrease or increase, rotate, flip, anchor, letter spacing, line spacing, orientation, curvature, where you can, you know, curve the words. And this is a menu too. So what we want to do is adjust the picture. Okay, so we can go to layers. And if we're satisfied, we can click done. However, Let's say we want to make more customizations. So we will go to personalize, click to customize further, and maybe we want to change the font. So we click on font, and we have hundreds of different fonts to choose from. So let's choose Grand Hotel. Okay. So here, let's say we want to increase this. So I like to use the scale to increase.
Okay. All right. So let's say we want to change the color of the font. We click on color. And we have these colors to choose from. Or we can use the eyedropper tool where we can just lift a color off of the image. Or we can use custom color picker where you can just choose from a rainbow of different colors. So I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool and choose a color, you know, on the pink, pink blanket, but in the shadowy part right here. Okay. And we can click on the photo, and there's customizations you can make to the photo. You can, of course, change the image or add filters. So these are the filters. Or you can crop the photo. Feel, fit. So this is what feel feels the whole design and fit fits it I'm going to put it back high headed rotate or flip and more options you can either uh, remove white from the image or the background and the preview window allows you to see a preview that you can enlarge. Okay. So let's say we want to change the color, the background color that's behind this text. So we go onto layers on our left side of the screen in background. And we see this is the current background color. And we can either pick a color from here or a background, thousands of backgrounds. Or when you click the plus sign right here, it takes you to a rainbow of colors that you can choose from. So let's say we want to choose one, a color that's purple. Very light purple. But that's really almost white. Or we can um, use the eyedropper tool again to lift a color off of the background I mean off of the picture so this is the current background right here is right here if you want to see the number is is right here because this comes in handy especially if you're experimenting and you keep changing the colors and you want you know your back and your front to match So let's look at the back layers. Okay, so we can change this background to match the front. Or maybe we want a totally different background. Maybe we want to remove this and use one of these backgrounds. So. We can search a Christmas theme background that matches the picture. So the picture is, it's like, okay, let's look at the picture again. Okay. 
Okay, so we see the picture has pink in it. So we can get a background, pink, Christmas. Okay. Sometimes you have to press this more than once. Okay, so this is a pink Christmas theme background. And so this is what the front looks like and the back. And if you're satisfied, you click done. So this is your front and back. And you can adjust the, you can choose two different sizes, small or large. You can choose between three different fabrics, your brush poly, false linen, coral fleece, and double-sided because we want it print on the back. But if you don't want anything printed on the back, you, you would click red back panel. And this is what the red back panel looks like. And when you finish, you just add to cart. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like this video. Have a nice day.